In today's video, gents, how to organize your day in five minutes. So the first step in organizing your day is give yourself the time, the margin to organize your day. So all this starts with you doing your MNRs, your mindless necessary routines. These tasks are the things that need to happen at the beginning of your day so that you can have a productive morning. Now your mindless but necessary routines, how many, how much time you spend on them, it really depends on you. I know I like to start my morning first thing with a run, getting out there and just simply getting a couple miles on. Now occasionally I'm gonna spend more time and go to the gym, but a quick run around town takes me 20, 25 minutes. So in the mornings, there's quite a few mindless tasks that I do. I go in, do dishes, put away dishes. I come down here, I do some laundry. I make coffee for my wife and I. But as I'm doing all this stuff, I'm still sharpening my mind. I'm getting smarter. How am I doing this, guys? I'm leveraging Audible. On my phone, I've got the Audible app. Now, Audible's the paid sponsor of today's video, and I've talked about these guys for years. And what am I listening to right now? The Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene. I've talked about this guy before. This is an amazing author. He also has another book, which I've listened to on Audible, The 50th Law, done with 50 Cent. But this latest one is amazing. Now, gents, when you go over to Audible, what you're going to find is you've got access to the world's largest library of audiobooks. And what I also love are the Audible Originals. If you're not familiar with this, as an Audible member, every single month, you get two free Audible Originals. And these are basically audiobooks that they have put together and you can only find on Audible. All right, guys, so to start listening with a 30-day Audible trial with your first audiobook plus two Audible Originals for free, go to audible.com slash rmrs or text rmrs to 500-500. Again, go to audible.com dot com slash rmrs or text rmrs to 500 dash 500. All right, Jen, so I just got back from my run. I feel great. And at this point, I am ready to spend five minutes planning my day. I've gotten rid of all those little nagging things that, yes, would have been on my mind and would have distracted me from focusing in on getting done what I need to, which is to plan and lay out the day. So let's talk about the tools that you need to plan your day. First up, you need something to write with. Pencil, pen, Sharpie, up to you. Next up, you need something to write on. You can go with a simple notepad. You can find these at any store for a couple dollars. You can go for something a little bit fancy or something that has a nice design on it. Yeah, it's gonna cost you maybe about $10. You can go with simple, just sheets of paper that you find lying around the house. You can just go in and steal a notebook from your kids and spy on kind of what they've been writing about, Robin Hood. Or you can get a fancy planner. Now be careful of these because even though they organize your day for you, you may not agree with the way it's organized. It may be overly complex. So a lot of people buy things like this and never use them, me included. So we've got the tools. Let's start the timer. We're going to spend three minutes on the priority matrix. All right, Jen, so this is where the magic happens, the priority matrix. You've got to identify the one thing that if you get it done, your day is going to be amazing. Now, I know you've got a hundred things that you need to get done, but here's the deal. You can only get some of that done. So the priority matrix is going to help break that up so you can identify where you need to focus, where you're going to get your big return on investment. So to start things off, we're going to use a blank sheet of paper. Go ahead and draw a cross just like this. So top left, you're going to write urgent. Over on the top right, you're going to write non-urgent. Then on the left-hand side, at the top, important. Left-hand side, at the bottom, you're going to write not important. Now notice you have four sections. You're going to put everything that you want to try to get done today in one of the four sections. But here's the deal, is that only one thing can go in the top left-hand corner. So for me, the one thing that has to get done today, I've got to film today's video, how to plan your day in five minutes. Boom. If I get this done, the day is going to be really good. Next up, we've got something that is important, but it's not really urgent. If you get done today, great. If not, you can do it tomorrow. For me, it's practicing for the raid on Area 51, September 20th. Guys, I got to practice my Naruto run. On a serious note though, in this part of the matrix for me is actually developing and working with my team. I've got 15 people that work for me. That's how we're able to get out content on all of our various platforms from our website to our infographics to these videos and working with these people consistently to get better is how basically my team has grown and our company has grown over the last few years. Now it's important to note both the things I just talked about are very important, but the level of urgency is what separates them. However, the thing in the non-urgent but important, those are very very important that you knock through them. Why? Because eventually they will become urgent and they will cause stress later on. Maybe it could be a week from now, maybe tomorrow. But the point is when you start getting ahead, all of a sudden you create margin in your life. And to create this margin, you need to identify the things that are urgent, but honestly are not that important. 
All those emails in your inbox in which people seem to be expecting a response, but honestly, you don't need to get back to them, at least not this very moment. You put off answering those emails till later in the day. Go ahead and batch process it. Give yourself 30 minutes to an hour and gamify it and zip through all those emails. Returning phone calls, that is important, especially if it's from a loved one. But here's the deal, is you wanna do that at the end of your day. You don't wanna do that at the beginning when you've got the most amount of energy and you're at the top of your game. And responding to YouTube messages, sorry guys, I had to put it in this category, although I do give a lot of you guys hearts. And now the non-urgent, not important. These are the things we do just to fill up time. I have to admit that I say I'm doing research on YouTube when I'm watching cat videos, I'm going and watching Mar Marvel battles. I love watching. They just put the best clips on YouTube or running videos. I love watching it when like a runner comes out of nowhere and ends up winning the race. Yes, I like to think I'm doing YouTube research. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm wasting time. I'm procrastinating. Congratulations. The priority matrix is complete. Now let's focus in on the one thing you want to get done and let's break it out in detail. All right, so the next list is going to break out everything that needs to happen with the one task that you're gonna be focused in on. For me, first thing, I gotta research the video. That, I gotta give about 60 minutes. I, I think I can do it faster, but historically, it takes me on average about an hour. Next up, the prep for the video. Okay, get in the studio, the lights on, checking the cameras, 15 minutes. Getting dressed, getting all my clothing looking good, 15 minutes. My hair, have to admit, I'd spend a lot more time on my hair, 90 minutes. And I'm joking about my hair, by the way. Next up, filming the video. On average, 60 minutes. Next up, I've got to upload the video to share it with my videographer. It takes about 15 minutes. Next up, I give myself 15 minutes to call my videographer, let him know the video is there for him to grab, and give him any special instructions. And let's add 30 minutes for a catch-all. You just never know when something's gonna pop up whenever I've gotta jump in and get something else done. So in total, approximately five hours, give or take. Now this next point is really important. You need to be able to go through and mark things off as you're doing them. Progress, making steps towards accomplishing your goal. This is one of the most powerful things that you can feel throughout your day. And guys, this is huge. To be able to, I don't know about you, I love it when I'm going through and marking this stuff off. It is that feeling that I'm getting things done. Gents, this is so key to being able to get things done consistently. Oh yeah, doesn't that feel great? Randy Macho Man Savage. So pretty simple, right? But here's the ugly truth, is that most people do not organize their day. They let their day happen to them. And the issue here is you end up spending a lot of time on things that don't matter. Remember the Pareto Principle, 20% of your effort is gonna yield you 80% of your result. This holds true in business, this holds true in life. So what video to watch next? Guys, check out this one, 11 Success Principles. So if you enjoyed today's video, you're ready to plan out your day, make things happen, well, what principles should you apply? I cover it in this video right here, which I will link to down in the description.